Okay, now with the front tire removed, we've pulled the valve stem out of the old tube to release all of the air for removal. I will take a wet soapy sponge, liberally apply so that my rim removing tools will glide along the plastics and rubber and not create any damage. To do so, we grab the lip of the tire, bring it over the rim, and run your tool along the side as it removes it from the rim for you. With the tire half off, I can now safely remove the old tube, and now I can put in my new Tannis rim liner. I start by allowing this liner to lay flat for roughly half an hour to let all of the folds and bends from packaging relax. I start by placing the Tannis liner inside of the tube, or the tire is so, and it is a bit of a fight. And now, with the bottom half of the tire still on the rim, I put the bottom half of the Tannis liner onto the first half of the rim. Such as so, now it is secure. We will take our new tube and slightly air it so that it has enough air to maintain the shape of the tube so when you put it in, and fully inflate your tube. It does not twist, kink, and pop. To do so, you find your valve stem hole and start by placing the valve stem inside. This is a bit of a project because of the new liner, but the extra five minutes now will be so worth the years of not dealing with flat tires. As you see, I've worked the new valve stem in to the hole, and as I start bringing the tire along the rim and the line, at this point, you will need the valve stem puller to repull the stem to let air all, all of the air out so you're not fighting putting your new tube in and pinching it. We'll be with you in a moment. With the air fully removed from the tire, I can now finish tucking the new tube into the Tannis armor liner between the liner and the rim, paying careful attention not to bind your valve stem. Once the tire is in, now I will proceed to install the liner around the rim just like the two. The liner is very soft and flexible, so this part you can maintain by hand. No special tool is needed. Now that the liner is fully installed, it is time to replace the rest of the tire back onto the rim. Once again, we will need our rim tools and our soapy water and sponge to liberally wet our tire so once again our tools slide and glide easily along and create no damage. I start by hand putting one side of the rim on and as you come to the end you see you no longer have room to do that. That's why you have your tools. We will place one tool on each end so as I slide along it's just not unthreading as I go. That's why I recommend two tools. Now I come to the center and just work this new tire right back onto this rim. And as you come along, it gets tighter and tighter. Now our new tire is on the rim. We're ready to inflate to 20 PSI using our eSales tire inflator. Once our tire is inflated, we may reinstall the front tire and you will be set to go. 
The procedures are the exact same for the rear tire as the front tire. It's just you're doing the back, not the front. We'll turn this pump on, let it air up, and we will be ready to ride once this tire is reinstalled. Okay, now we have our front tire aired up. We're ready to reinstall it. Just the opposite is the removal. Dropping in to make care that the brackets fit into the saddles. We'll now tighten the front tire on. And afterwards, the only thing we will have left is to realign the front brakes. It is my recommendation that every time you remove your front tire, realign your front brake, and that will discontinue any type of drag from your tire not being aligned properly. It's a very simple, easy step, and we will also show you how to do that today. And that will be the purpose of our 5mm Torx. To do so, we were coming over to the brake disc and the top and lower bolts we will just loosen. Now, your front brakes are loose. Spin your tire. Apply the front brake. I've just used my foot to apply the brake holding it on and now I'll retighten the same two bolts and your brakes will be aligned with your tire and discontinue any drag. My name's been Terrence McCloskey from eSales. I am the new head tech and I look forward to coming to you with more videos in the future as new products and new innovations come along. Thank you and have a great day.